Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video in the BTD6 modding series. In this video, we're going to cover getting started, the programs you need to have in order to mod BTD6. For this video, at a glance, we're going to need to have .NET Framework 4.7.2 and up. We're going to need to have Visual Studio Community, DN Spy, which we're going to use to view the game's code, and BTD6 Mod Manager, which will download Melon Loader and NKHook 6, our API, automatically. If you're having trouble with our mod manager, you'll have to download Melon Loader and NKHook 6 manually. So the first thing we need to do is download .NET Framework. I have the link to this website in the description. If you have trouble finding it, just go to Google and look up .NET Framework. We want to get the one that's at the top, the latest, and the one that says recommended. But in order to mod BTD6, we have to have at least .NET Framework 4.7.2. But again, we want to get the latest, so we're going to go with .NET Framework 4.8, at least in this case. When you watch this video, there might be a newer version out that's recommended. You're going to want to get that one instead. So go ahead and download the latest one and install it. Next, you're going to need to get Visual Studio. We're going to be using Visual Studio to actually make our mods. In the future, we plan on making a scripting language for BTD6 modding. That scripting language won't require Visual Studio, but since it doesn't exist yet, we're going to be using Visual Studio, and I'll make sure to pin more information about that scripting language into the comments once we make it. But for now, go ahead and download Visual Studio. Just click on the download Visual Studio and get Visual Studio Community Edition. Note that we do not want Visual Studio code because we need Visual Studio Community Edition or better. Next, we're gonna need to get DNSpy. Go to your favorite search engine and type in DNSpy, press enter and get the one from GitHub. Once it loads, go over to the releases section and click on the one that says latest. We wanna make sure we get the one that says latest release. Downloading it is really easy. Make sure you get the one at the top that says dnspy.net. It might have different numbers in it, but we want to have the one that says dnspy.net. So go ahead and click on it and click on open and then click OK. You're going to need 7-zip or another program that can open zip files if you're going to do this. If you don't have a program like that, go to your favorite search engine and type in 7-zip. I like 7-Zip because it's free and they don't annoy you to spend money on them. Anyways, click on the one that's from 7-Zip.org. You're going to need to get the 32-bit version if you have a 32-bit computer, or the 64-bit version if you have a 64-bit computer. If you're not sure which one you have, right-click on your Start button down here in the bottom left corner and click on System. When it comes up, you can see your um, operating system right here under System Type. I have 64-bit, so I would be getting the 64-bit version right here. So if you fall under the category of needing to download 7-Zip, go ahead and download that, and when you're done, finish the installation with DNSpy. All right, so DNSpy has finished downloading. I'm gonna go to my desktop, right-click, and create a new folder. I'm gonna call this folder DNSpy, but you can call it whatever you want, and you can put it wherever you want. I'm putting it on my desktop so it's easier to access. DNSpy doesn't install like a regular program. You have to actually run the file if you want to use it. So that's why I'm putting it on my desktop. To install it, just select all the files inside of the zip and then drag them over to your uh, dnspy folder like this. To run dnspy, you would just double click on dnspy.exe. We're going to cover dnspy more in another video, but we're going to be using dnspy to actually look at btd6's code. Now we need to get btd6 mod manager. Like I said at the beginning of the video, btd6 mod manager is going to automatically install the rest of the files that you need. Also, it's going to make sure they stay up to date so you don't have to update them yourself. Not only that, but it'll serve as a way for you to manage your mods and use them later with ease. This is why I recommend you take this approach, but if you're having any issues, you'll have to download Melon Loader and NKHook manually. I'll show you how to do that next. But first, if you want to get BTD6 Mod Manager, go to the page in the description about Nexus Mods and BTD6 Mod Manager and just go to the Files section and click on Manual Download for whatever one's at the top. Alternatively, if you wanted to just download it from our GitHub page, you can go to this link right here which will open up to our GitHub page. And you can just click on the releases tab like we did with DNSpy and get the latest release. In this scenario, the latest release is 1.0.7 and you would just get the one at the top that says btd6 modmanager.zip. You don't need to get the source code unless you wanted to look at it. I've got a video specifically on using btd6 mod manager. I'll make sure that's included in the description if you want more help or more information on how to use it. 
After you finish downloading BTD6 Mod Manager, open it up and let it automatically download the remaining files. Once it's done downloading them, run BTD6 once so it can finish the processing and you're ready to go. Assuming you're one of the people that needs to download this manually, go to your favorite search engine and type in Melon Loader. We're gonna be using Melon Loader to actually do all the heavy lifting for us. So once you do that search, just go to the one that's from GitHub. And like before, go to the releases tab and get whichever one says latest release. In this case, it is version 2.7.1. To download it, just click on the one that says melonloader.zip and click on open. We're not gonna save this because we don't need to. Once it finishes downloading, we're gonna have to extract these files to our BTD6 folder. The easiest way to find that is to go to Steam, right click on BTD6 and click on manage. Then click on browse local files and it'll open up your BTD6 directory. Then go back to the zip file we downloaded, highlight the files that are inside of it and drag them into your BTD6 directory. I've already got them downloaded so I'm not gonna re-download them. Now we have to run BTD6 BTD6 once so it generates the files we need. Just double click on BTD6 and it'll start Melon Loader for us. Here's the console that Melon Loader creates. Right now, you'd probably be seeing a lot of messages here getting popped up saying that it's extracting files and doing all kinds of work. When it's done doing that, just close it and we're ready to move on to the next step. So keep your BTD6 folder open, then click on the link in the description that'll take you to NKHook6's GitHub page. Like we did with the other programs, go to the releases section and click on the release that's at the top, whichever one is the latest release. All you need to do is download the DLL, NKHook6.DLL, and save it to your mods folder in BTD6. So I go to my BTD6 directory, click on mods, and save it here. You've now got it installed and you're now done and ready to go. We've got all the necessary programs installed in the next video, we're gonna cover some basic programming terminology and some other terms and general information you might need to mod BTD6. Like I said in the introduction video, this is gonna require actual programming, so I'm gonna to try to do my best to explain all that stuff in the next video. I will see you guys there.